Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Assembled personages from across the realms, both major and indeed minor. I bid you welcome for what I'm sure will be one of the most auspicious days in our collective history. For today, we will be introducing the exciting world of steampunk to all and indeed sundry. But to start with, we may very well ask ourselves, what is this nebulous construct, this abstract idea that masquerades and lingers in our consciousness as steampunk? Well, if we were to wander across the worldwide interweb, and to find the definition of steampunk, we would find that there are as many interpretations as there are steampunkers themselves. If we were to visit, for example, Wikipedia, we would find out that steampunk is very considerate and carefully described as a retro-futuristic subgenre of science fiction or science fantasy that incorporates technology and aesthetic designs inspired by 19th century industrial steam-powered machinery. The encyclopedic knowledge of the Wikipedia engine also describes that its literary origins are sometimes associated with the cyberpunk genre. Steampunk works are often set in an alternative history of the 19th century British Victorian era or the American Wild West. In a future during which steam power has maintained mainstream usage or indeed in a fantasy world that similarly employs steam power. However, steampunk and neo-Victorian are different in that the neo-Victorian movement does not extrapolate on technology, while technology is a key aspect of steampunk and by that we can interpret steampunk fiction. And all of this very, very careful description is available for you to read and we are indebted and indeed most grateful to the purveyors of knowledge that masquerade as the Wikipedia information engine. And I do encourage you to visit the Wikipedia site for it will give you more information on steampunk. A brief history of steampunk would go back really to quite recently to main authors. And the main authors were really working in the science fiction field. And we are indebted in particular to the work of Tim Powers, James Blaylock, and a few other people, and particularly of K.W. Jeter. And K.W. Jeter actually sat down and thought, I need a name that replicates and illustrates into the mind of anybody new to the genre exactly what it is I am trying to create. Now we will be revisiting the history of steampunk very very soon in the next episode. In the next episode we will be looking at the main authors and creators. But essentially the work that was created was a, a dystopian past wherein technologies and arcane machineries were available which were not historically available but perhaps should have done. So if we were to visit the work, for example, of Jules Verne, we would see that there are time machines and incredibly advanced submarines that were not available to the actual historical engineers of the time. But if they were, then the steampunk vision would have been reality at that time. The second thing I want to talk quickly about is Professor Kirkstone. Who is Professor Kirkstone? Well, Professor Kirkstone will be the guide 
through our explorations. Professor Kirkstone is a linguist. Professor Kirkstone is also a botanist and examples of uh, Professor Kirkstone's botanical work are available on the Kirkstone channel. He's also a political activist, very concerned about the rights of the individual and also a sociologist and social commentator. And more than any of those, and most pertinent for our present observations, Professor Kirkstone is both an observer and cataloguer of all things steampunkery. We may also ask ourselves at this point, what are the major areas of inquiry? Well, on this remarkable channel, we will be looking, as has already been strongly hinted at, the first area of inquiry which will be steampunk fiction. Those writers and creators who have laid out the very structure of the steampunk universe. One of my very good friends is all Monishmi that steampunk is a setting not a genre. So we can have a steampunk setting in a whole range of genres. Detective fiction, science fiction, romance. Any of these could be set in a steampunk setting, but this wouldn't alter the genre type, I think. We will also be looking at steampunk artifacts and artisans. Those people who make things that we would identify as steampunk. Arcane machineries, impossible devices. We should be looking at steampunk costumery and cosplay. We'll be looking at how people dress in a steampunk way a way which defines their own fashion, a way which is instantly discernible as steampunk. We will also be looking at pictoriography and photography, those people who find it their duty and indeed their passion to catalogue the visual style of the steampunk world and the steampunk players who contribute. And finally we will be looking at steampunk and social media, various worldwide and social networks, the interwebs and intercommunicative devices which allow the promulgation of knowledge across the steampunk universe. And during this expose we will have the very bones laid bare, revealing the full skeletal structure for future consequences. In subsequent episodes we will be looking at authors and creators at fashion and buildings, at the creators of the steampunk universe, those visionary artifacts who have described and illustrated the steampunk worlds in which we like to fantasize and dwell. We will be looking at modern mavericks, those mechanical magicians who artfully assemble the artifice and actuality through artisanship and skilled theoretical thaumaturgy. The makers and visionaries that define the steampunk realities, but most of all, we are inviting you to be part of the procedural process. This is a team effort, after all. Come back soon for more steampunkery and make that retro future happen now. Through your own commentary, you will guide and support. Tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like. What do we do well? We will do more. What do we do less? then we will do less correspondingly. Finally, what are the future directions for this channel to which strange and wondrous vistas will you be led? Which worlds, real and imaginary, will you be guided to? Listen very carefully, my friends, because against my better judgment, I have been advised, no, much, much more than that, persuaded to reveal a slight glimpse into the future an etheric crack in the very fabric of reality. Firstly, we will be expanding on this very episode, giving much more background and copious amounts of detail. In episode two, a fulsome introduction to all things steampunkery. And from that strategic episode, we will grow, branching out in a myriad directions, wherein the full panoply and 
panoramic vista will be laid bare before you. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Make the retro future happen now. Be part of our steampunk world. I thank you all for listening and I'll see you all very, very soon for the next episode. Good day to you. Make it a good one.